Ah, oh, the good old Russian version. Ah, oh, this is nice. But for some reason, you can't use Cyrillic letters for this. <laughs> Maximum difficulty. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on YouTube, right? Um, probably anyway. So you will see this game is... Oh, I forgot uh, to start the timer, but it's fine. Hey Mike. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I will put this on YouTube probably. And you will see that this game is extremely broken. And primarily because you have a co op mechanic which you can abuse. I just want to see uh, how broken it truly is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I was like. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, Mike. It's called Suka because that was the only thing I that came to mind that I could write in Russian but with Latin letters. Um, that file is from when was that? Like three years ago when I bought this copy of the game. So um, yeah, I think it just irked me that I couldn't couldn't put in a Cyrillic name. It's a little annoying. In any case, um, I get to play this version. Hey, but that bonus thing is is an emote as well. It's it's an FFZ. And if anyone's on YouTube watching this, which I don't know yet <laughs> if I'm going to put it there, but I think I will. If anyone's watching and you want to f follow the interactions that I have with chat, then you can watch on Twitch, because there's going to be a chat replay. In any case, there's nothing too interesting going on here for the first episode. Anyway, there's a Russian bonus FFZ. Because it's, you know, like, wide text and, and I can't put that into a square format really well. But you can use that in if I do Crash 4 speedruns. I feel like the game drops way more frames on OPL though. So I'm playing on OPL now because it's just faster loading screens. But it's not running as fluently, I don't think. What the fuck? Platforming is not very different, to be honest. Other than just, you know, not pulling out the play second player. Oops. And changing the options. Oh, I failed the jump. Most notably for this is you could um, I can't like bypass the fights and stuff. So I also have to watch these Aku Aku cutscenes coming up. And hey Uber, do monkey. Which 
really I have no no choice but to fight these these dudes. But the normal uncharged heavy attack is going to kill them all instantly. I was just too far away from Makaku. Спасибо, Крэш. Против них я был бессилен. Здесь не обошлось без черной магии. Дел будет по горло. Да я знаю, что у меня нет горла. Нам уже пора. Also, that was uh, a spike that you can very clearly see. So spikes do appear in story-related cutscenes. What Uba you think like the actual any percent run is too inconsistent? Because I feel like it's super consistent to get like a decentish time. Get like sub 120 or something that should not be difficult. Okay, so I got the bullshit flex. Now maybe I should be comparing against my any percent splits, but I'm not. Strat. Oh yeah, um, I guess that one. That's something I would have to look into as well uh, later. So the main thing I'm really doing this run right now is I think all the other runs that only use one controller are also on easy. And this game runs faster on hard, so. Curious to see how that's going to turn out. Oh, and I guess I'm saving, so <laughs> so there's that. Episode two: Skidka na vozrast. I did know about the stop that. <laughs> It's just a very short slow mo. I can't just hug the left side here, right? <laughs> to avoid the cutscene. No. <laughs> Dang. It's crazy how the cameraman just really barely squeezes past this. Or even just, just a boost jump. Like you often just, even if you hold left, you still get sort of like pushed to the right or the game interprets it as like a right way movement. Which it really shouldn't, but it does. <laughs> because there's like camera swerving shenanigans going on. And you still get so fucking close to that cutscene, but you do not trigger it. without the snipe, but I can't be bothered. 
So this isn't like to optimize or anything. Oh, and now my uh, my splits actually line up with the level names because these splits are from my motor trial uh, runs, and the motor rooms have their own titles, so they don't. So my splits are translated, the translated episode titles, or like back translated them into English. Now they do actually kind of fit. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of an, an excuse to just run the Russian version. Because I never get to play this. Like for speedrunning, that is. And I don't play this game casually, so what's the point? Hang on just a sec. <laughs> I should probably get this. I should have gotten the one in episode 2 actually, but I, I don't know man. I forgot. Because I do want to grind my mojo later. Frame rate. Oh no! Why is it dying? <laughs> it's my old uh, recording software screwing up. It's fine. It's fine now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> then it just like tank completely. For... It wasn't like that the entire time, was it? I don't think so. It must have gotten like that when I entered the mojo room or something. That's a weird thing going on with my capture card with that. When I'm not recording through the software, it just sort of like tanks. Like the, the, the FPS just goes down very quickly. Down to like one FPS, like literally one FPS. Or even worse. It just go, gets worse by the second. Which is the main reason why I'm thinking upgrading my capture card. But if I just record, like it's so bizarre to me because you know, <laughs> you'd think recording makes it makes the FPS go bad, bad. But no, it's, it's like the opposite. It's not recording for some reason. It makes it bad. Okay, should be a spike. Oh, there was a mask there. Don't mind me. Don't mind the FPS. <coughs> but that's... That didn't happen before um, on PS2. That used, used to just happen on 360. But maybe my capture card is just starting to properly die. I don't need 
spy box. I don't know how long these uh, these fights are. Roundhouse or whatever it's called, it's just called like super attack of Norris or Norris's super attack. <laughs> also, there are translations for the episodes on Bandipedia, like Russian translations. But the well, English translations of the Russian titles, I should say. But I don't always agree with how they translate things. And I think what people do there, like, I think there must have been like one person who just added all of those titles in all the languages available. But he did like zero research and has no idea about how. how about the languages, basically. I'm convinced that's the case, and they use Google Translate and nothing else. Like, he's no translation technique, I should say. Because I translated the Titan names. I, d I did that differently. I put those on Bandipedia. I hope, I think, I hope you can tell. That my translations are superior. Crash, как я и опасался, Кортекс и Ука Ука похищают Моджо из храма. Наверняка это связано с теми странными мутантами. And I can tell because uh, they also screwed up the German translations of the or the translations of the German titles. But you can use Mark 1 on PAL, Chris. You can use Mark 1 and you can skip a lot of stuff still. And Mark 1 is not very difficult. It's just a little bit more annoying in, in some parts. It's not like PAL is a one controller only run, basically. Not even close. <laughs> Cosa da grandi. Even I would have translated this correctly, or would have at least assumed that it means adults, yeah? Like grown ups, right? Things for bigs. 
Oh, that's so stupid. Oh yeah, here's here's ac this is actually a skip, and it's patched on PSP. So you can just jump around this wall very easily. Of course, what you're supposed to do is go to the left, uh, the left one, uh, the right one. I mean, the one off to the right. You have to swing by the rope and stuff, which spawns a spike, and then you're supposed to use the spike uh, to knock down the wall and get to the one that spawns the snipe. But very evidently, you can just go grab the snipe like this and skip the spike entirely and now I could mojo farm so I'm still going to mojo farm because this is still on hard you know it's really annoying and that's also why I did the mojo room the Russian name for episode 3 slowly Figa dla Geroyev. Is that the one? Yeah. Figa dla Geroyev. can also be a different thing. Sometimes I struggle to come up with a good translation for no, for like a good um, like I guess a good alternative translation or something. So I decided to take the one from Bandipedia at times. Since there are also some words that I'm unfamiliar with. Or oh, like in, in German we use the word groß. If you want to say that I that someone's like grown up. And groß also means big. We do the same thing. It's just like you would say when I was little, meaning when I was young, when I was a kid. Crash, ты дурачок. Попался болван в мою ловушку. Я получил и тебя, и моджа. Кортекс, почему ты не можешь успокоиться? Знаете, на самом деле это здорово. Большие машины, взрывы, грохот и все такое очень затягивает. Это? Укаука научил меня создавать моджи мутантов. Теперь я смогу собрать армию послушных мутантов. What they what they did with the the German? Uh, don't touch the yellow brick load. It's episode six, right? Um, in German, it's called "nicht ins braune fassen." Fassen is a verb meaning to touch or to to grab something. I guess maybe. it means to touch, basically. Um, so it means don't touch the brown stuff. Pretty on the nose. Um, but there's a noun, fuss, and it means barrel, <laughs> for some reason. Uh, th uh, they thought fussen means barrels, <laughs> so they back-translated it in on Bandipedia as like, there's nothing brown in the barrels or something like that. <laughs> no brown barrels or, or something, I don't, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Something about barrels for sure though. I'm like, guys, this is entirely wrong. <laughs> oh. Which leads me to believe that's just a machine translation. Um, and that's why you shouldn't use machine translations. Also, whatever the fuck Eggy is doing, don't stay close enough to the Yaktopus. If you stay back here, he's not going to attack you. 
because you don't want the octopus to shoot down uh, the minions because they fly off uh, to fucking Nirvana. Oh shit. And when that happens, you can't see if they drop free jacks. Because why, dude? Because Eggy just keeps chilling with the spike in range of uh, the octopus, and that's it's just not wise, man. Why? Why do people speedrun their games in this unwise manner? I will never get. I want one to keep backseating Eggy here. This guy. Hey, Shishi. Now it's just an experiment to see how how long this run is going to be. <coughs> Don't eat the brown bricks. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you normally play with two controllers. There's, you can have a second player out. It's like a co-op feature, and you can use this to skip a bunch of shit. But in this uh, instance, in this specific instance here. Um, I can't. Well, I can still do a few skips. And, uh, was it Azriel or what was his name? Uh, has found a lot of one-player skips recently. Maybe, maybe not like a ton. Yeah, Azriel was the name. Um, but certainly a few more, like proper sequence breaks that you could do. As one player, like in Doom Raker, you can skip into the the second room uh, from the get-go without having to do the fight. I'm not going to do that because I haven't practiced it, and it's useless in in any percent run because the way we do it now is much faster and easier anyway. Cortex, you <laughs> and to not eat the yellow snow, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's what it is, <laughs> what it's a reference to anyway, in English. But the German one is, is different, because <laughs> it just means don't touch shit. Cortex says catch up. I, it's hard for me to hear, you know, the wrong things because I understand this. Уродина! А, да заткнись ты! Oh shit, that's a split. Uh, I need to do this thing. Oh, I don't need to, but <laughs> it's gonna make everything much more bearable. So... Before we found skips, I think I had a 225 in this game. Oh, come on, man. You know, looking back, it's it's easier to do this <laughs> on a snipe. There you go. Mutant school. 
In episode 17, really? Oh, it's because it's adult education. You know, it's, it's a real education joke. No, I get it. Oh, like this, Tasca Zilione. Um, in Russian, you do not use the word to be in present tense. Like, it's, it's always implied. <laughs> when I try to explain it to some people, I usually say, imagine, like, cavemen speak. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. Do monkey dumb. <laughs> Instead of just do monkey is dumb. Something like that. The word is basically doesn't exist in Russian. It's it's always implied. And it's the same here. Taska zelonaya. It means anguish is green. <laughs> but in on Bandipedia they just said anguish green, I think. And I see stuff like that and I'm like, yeah, these guys know jack shit about this language. Like either they just went word by word and translated translated them word by word basically. It's not the way normally. <laughs> Why you? Why not? <laughs> it's always me when you're talking, so... <laughs> it's only fair. I think I'm allowed to say <laughs> to shit talk the Russian language. Being effectively a native speaker. Of some sort, anyway. Russian just has its, its sort of like wackiness. Just like any other language. I didn't get all the upgrades. I need I need one million two hundred and five thousand. But I only got like one point one something million. Okay, I'm gonna try one skip. But I'll only try it like once or twice, I think. So you can you can sort of like board out of bounds here. No, I didn't make it. I think I have to go further right. Can 
Oh, that was too early, I think. Yeah, death was too early. Yeah, it's, this is a bit tricky. I'll try one more time. Last one. Okay. Can't do it now. But it doesn't matter. So you can just go... You can just go out of bounds there and hover for like a little bit. And you will respawn on the other side of this wall up ahead. So... You can skip this entire fight against the other spikes. Oh wow! What? Wow! Come on, dude. What? How did I stun him? I guess. Well, there should be a spike any minute now. Oh wait, you can skip this too, right? That doesn't matter at this point. You can skip this with a good, like, board jump thing. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Like, it's that... Like, I've never bothered to learn the board. Strat. And I don't think you can skip past this gate that's coming up, so I need to get this elephant. Yeah, the buzz saw kills, kills you instantly. We haven't compiled the playlist yet for the wedding. But I'm sure Compactor Reactor will, will be on there. Okay, so I can skip this gate. As per usual, just run past, like squeeze to the left of it, and it works. Now don't come asking for every single track in Twok, or any other Crash game for that matter. Has anyone watched uh, the old 
Uh, what's it called? Oh, guys, get out of my way. Uh, the, 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 the Crash Team Rumble stuff. Is anyone actually excited for that? Actually, I should ditch him. Wait, no, I shouldn't have. Oh, doesn't matter. Because there's another strat that Asriel found, so you can skip these generators and... But you need a Magmodon for it. It's not really worth it at any percent because because of the flex. Also, I guess your movement will be slower in general. See the Crash Team Rumble stuff, and personally, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know, man. Can do this without jumping? Yeah. And haven't we come far away? Oh, Jesus. From the Beta M days where he just would hover for as long as he possibly could to make it over. Turns out you don't need to do any of that shit. You can just, you can just drop down like, like a chump and it works. Oh shit, are you actually gonna run CDTR? DM? That would be nice. He's gonna be a radical Crash Bandicoot speedrun. <laughs> Just like me. I don't hate Beta. <laughs> he just did very, like, a lot of things very slowly. That's all. Whoa, I forgot about the, the fucking wood there. Uh, like, he can't be knocked too far back. Unless he lands on those platforms, and that would be bad. So if anyone wants to just casually speedrun this game, I would really say just do not do tiny skip. It's. If you don't want to, if you just want to have a decent time, but don't need like record or like something competitive, you just want to have a fun time. Don't do this skip. Just do it like this. There's the next Titan in a story-related cutscene. Доктор Кортекс, да? Нет, Нина! Ука-ука прогнал Кортекса. Он зол, ведь Кортекс всегда... Это 
It's pretty similar to his English voice. You can just backflip the last one, really? Holy shit. I'm too scared to do that. <laughs> Oh, I still need to to post my Mojo Trial World Record, right? On, on the server. Since I guess that's a record. I don't know if you can skip this. I don't think so. Let me try and backflip from the barrel seat. But I think I need to sort of like clip a little bit. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. Spikes don't take a liking to my skip attempt. Should only be a few waves and then the goal will spawn and I can, I can just take it out like that. Wow! Fucking Magwedons, dude. Okay, Magwedon is fucking useless. Oh, ah! Unless you use the special. And there's a the goal. Can I do the thing? No! <laughs> Damn it. You can, uh can turn right before the cutscene and it will aim the special directly at uh, at the stone wall you can do that so you can break it during the cutscene episode 9 <laughs> Apparently you can make it all the way over here. Nice. Oh no! Do I have to do the entire Scorporilla thing? Oh, it's so slow! Stench is fine. Ah. Can I like things? Sludge rail track. Oh, I know. I know what. I know what it does. Yeah. 
That's nice. I uh, wanted to do something like that. I'm, oh, I used, I did do something like that, but with. Oh, are you joking, man? Uh, I'm gonna die. Oh, shit, didn't see that coming. Oh wait, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can pull this out. Oh shit. Okay. Now I want some distance. It's still gonna be a while until <laughs> the scope will show up. This is such a long section, it's so bad. And you can't skip it in 100% either. Fuck's sake. Are you joking? No! Heck, I don't have infinite spin. I have to do everything from the start again. Uh, I'm not very sure about that. This is bad. Fuck's sake! These guys are relentless. Magmadons with their shitty iframes as well. When they attack. But when you yourself control a Magmadon, you should always get hit out of your attacks. It's so dumb. So there's the first cutscene. I don't know. They all look the same. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Hate this. Let's just switch. Yeah, goodbye. Cutscene? Maybe or not. Ugh. Fuck's sake, how many more how many more waves is this? You see this? Shit's just like knocking me out of my special. I hate this. Stench. There he is. Finally, or she. And all this just to do that. About the, the sludge rail, um, I did a variation where I jumped and I still carry the momentum over. But I would always find myself uh, be launched into like the acid or something.
But yeah, just just spamming R1 means you pull it out a bit earlier. And you still go fast. Oh yeah, Godzilla. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. I still land in the, in the asset. Oh wait, I can't skip this. <laughs> I'm too used to skipping things. Are you serious? Where's the free jack in this? Oh, there it is. I knew it was somewhere. Another bullshit flex. Oh yeah, this isn't Hundo. Don't jack every single sludge. I'm inclined to though because I'm losing a lot of HP. Be the last wait, I'm not sure. Oh, fuck. Of course. Come on. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yes, I know. The fuck? Why are you giving me this advice? Pressing select, I know that. That's literally a thing that I put in my uh, guide. My guide for minor optimizations, tips and tricks. Nobody's reading it. You can't complain that shit's not documented. It's documented fucking everywhere. I'm making sure people can speedrun my games. Just nobody's looking. Or like this, the hyphen, the hyphen in this. Tam vdali hyphen Sliznirog. Sliznirog is the name of the sludge. Which translates to slughorn. <laughs> but the hyphen indicates uh, to be. So over there, in the distance, there is a slughorn or there is a sludge. That's what it really means. But on Bandipedia it says, there in the distance, Slughorn. That's just not how the language works. Oh shit, let's go, get, get this guy. Nope. 
Oh, that's, that's the Doom Monkeys. Sabotaging my speedrun again. Here comes the sludge. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's nice. Wait, what is it in English? A sludge too far. What is it in German? Ein much zu weit, I think. Which would be a slime too far or something like that. Because the sludge itself is like the Titan. It's called Matcha. Like it, it would be a sludge too far as well, I guess. But not referring to the sludge, but just meaning sludge in general. <laughs> it's a little weird. Of course, the translators probably don't really think quite too much about this in general. I doubt a whole ton of, like, thought went into the localization. Wait. No! This isn't what I wanted, but I have to roll with it now. What up? Oh shit! How did he die? <laughs> so this just goes kaboof like this. And that should be it, right? Right? Is it not? Is there a fourth one? Maybe there is. Honestly, there might as well be. Yeah, there is. I almost screwed up. Come on, guys. And now this guy. Ein much zu weit, yeah. So much is just sludge or slime or mud. It's mud. Mud. In Absolutely accurate facts, Doom Monkey. <laughs> Guys, if you ever see Doom Monkey of Doom in Twitch chat say anything ever, it's wrong. <laughs> Guy spouts bullshit all day, all night. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Even if it's about Crash of the Titans. Even though he's the world record holder, he, he knows nothing. Also the little entrance to this ice tunnel. It's black on NTSC. I don't know if that's intended or not, or if that's like OTL shenanigans. And it's black on emulator as well, but it's not black here. And this is still on OPL. So it would be weird if, it, you know. No, it would, I don't know. Strange. I don't know what to say. Oh, 
Because I used to think it's just, you know, an OPL thing. Since on disc you always see it, but maybe it's a PAL thing. And it would be strange if that, like, didn't load correctly just because of OPL or something. And you no, it's just too far. Too wide is too far. Wait, is Martin? Oh shit! I got a. No, I'm not getting the free jack. <laughs> I could have had a free jack for this. That's why I triggered it in the first place. But me stupid, me dumb. How far? Oh, 106 into the run. See, this run's like almost twice as long as any percent. I still need a little bit of mojo. Might as well try and get it while I'm waiting for the waves here. Yeah, and as a kid, I never knew you could, like, ledge grab this. So I would just damage boost uh, through the fire. And there is a free jack mask here as well, isn't there? Tucked away in the corner. I didn't bother picking it up because I don't need it. You can get one there. For no reason, really. Since there are no titans there. Come on, friends. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's not what I exactly intended, guys, but sure. At least the path is clear. What the fuck? He hit it once and it destroyed? Oh, come on, man. I think 
because the minions were attacking me, maybe there was some weird combo shenanigans going on. Ah, good, good guy, good guy. Anyway, do monkey take notes. This is movement. Um, <laughs> apart from the last jump being dropped. That's a certified dropped input. Alright. I got hit this time. But hey, you get the picture. <laughs> you get the idea. I do it from here. Ah, whatever, man. I have board slam now, so should be no problem. Okay, and now there's gonna be one that's like filled with rats, right? I have a feeling that some animations on PAL are also slower. Which is not unheard of, of course. Kidding. And this, kids, is why you want to grind Mojo. In order to have like a semblance of a runner friendly speaker. Oh, that's the one with. But, uh, filled with rats, but I can skip it. Evidently, this isn't a great run, but it's more supposed to be like a showcase. If you play on easy, then you don't get wrecked quite as much, but your movement's going to be slower. Oof. Okay. One million two hundred and five thousand is the final upgrade, by the way. So I can get that soon enough. Friend. I was stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck again. Cool. Almost caught up with, uh, to me. Okay, and this is the one where you can skip into the second room even with 
one player. Kill the stenches. I think I do. Oh boy. Like being frozen is not a big problem, but you do take a lot of damage from it. That's a little annoying. Yeah, so Crash Team Rumble. It sure is a video game that exists. But I don't know what else to say about it. Some people claim it's going to be the dawn of a new game genre, even. And maybe it is. But I have this weird suspicion that it's just going to be a server-based game and it's going to die out. Um, within a couple of months. And probably no two years after the release, it's probably going to be completely unplayable. Is my fear. My little crackpot theory here. Can you lock onto the, the thing? Good. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, uh, can I get in there? <laughs> Thanks. I'm looking at it and I'm just thinking, man, <laughs> Is, is there no value for a single player, you know, player? <laughs> I'm just not too keen on, like, online multiplayer. It's just not my, uh, what should I say, not my medium or something. Lots of people are apparently excited for it. But I have a weird suspicion that, you know, it's excitement like NST excitement, like Crash 4 excitement. After a matter of months, it's going to be, well, not even months weeks it's going to be old news really really fucking quickly and at that point it's nobody's going to really talk about it much anymore in the grand scheme of things and judging by you know the old um, crash on the run Yeah, we, we just know how server-based games end up now, these days. You can tell me whatever you want, but honestly, we've had other mobile games for Crash. Like CBNK 3D and CBNK 2, which some people might consider just shovelware. 
There are a hell of a lot better games than Crash on the Run. Because they're less repetitive. Like CBNK2 especially. It's a really nice casual game. It doesn't have a ton of depth to it, no. But you can do so much fun stuff. You have so many game modes that aren't even in NF. All they should have done is just, you know, copy CBNK2 for some of these NF modes and, and that's it. But they didn't do that. Like drift challenges or something. Why didn't you add that? It will work so well. Don't forget CNK for Engage. I don't know about that one. That's just a better Game Boy Advance version. A better, and like, like visually better, but in motion, whiplash inducing version of GBA CNK. It's. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, and I still maintain that Crumble could have probably just been uh, a sort of like Crash 4 expansion and not just its own game. CBNK2 had online multiplayer, but I don't I don't know about Engage, the Engage one. Probably, maybe? That'd be crazy. Were you able to play online on Engage? I don't know, man. But CBNK2, definitely worth it. And whenever Touch HLE, the iOS emulator, allows you to play that, it's going to be a huge plus for the Crash community. Because right now, you can only play it on a jailbroken iPhone. Or if you have an old iPhone that still has it installed. So it's really hard to get. I have it, but... It's a nice game. It's fun. And CBNK 3D is already decently preserved, I guess. Since you can play a version of it on Touch HLE. And then there's also an, uh, the, the Engage Symbian emulator, so you can play that too. Well, you can, but you can't. The game is basically... I think it just straight up crashes at some point, depending on the iOS version. It's like iOS 6 or 7, where it still runs fine. But anything from iOS 8 onwards, and we're like, at what, like iOS 18 probably or some shit? Um, Anything like older than that doesn't work. And I don't think you can just install the APK equivalent. It's an IPA is, uh, is the file extension. I don't think you can just install it easily unless you have a proper, like unless your phone is jailbroken or you have some something else. Like an iPhone 4 definitely works. There's ways to downgrade. Like, I did a ton of research for this, like, a few years ago when I wanted to get my hands on the game again. Um, so I used a lot of really old, like, 13 years old um, methods of jailbreaking and downgrading the iOS version that I have and stuff. It's a little bit convoluted, but if you have an iPhone 4S, it's pretty easy to do. And it allows you to also capture your game quite decently. Oops. Why is iPhone so complicated? Because of Apple. But fear not! <gasps> Ooh, I made it over! <laughs> but fear not, um, there's an emulator coming. It only really works on a game-by-game -game basis. I think it started because of Super Monkey Ball or something. But the second game he got to run was CBNK3D. It's 
um, considering just just asking the creator, hey, can you maybe look at CBNK2? Because that's like actually almost lost media at this point. And you know the the control scheme is not not the, the best, but it's serviceable. So you can navigate the touch screen by just clicking on the window uh, naturally, uh, and you can plug in a controller and use the analog stick for the tilting control, so you can steer. It works decently on CBNK 3D, and there's no reason why it shouldn't work for CBNK 2. It's a little bit annoying if when you have to like navigate to like jump or to break or to use a power up. But maybe at some point down the line they can like add support. Oh yeah, this sucks. Maybe they can add support for like, sort of shortcuts for specific uh what, do you, what would you call it? Like, you specify a section of the screen that's supposed to be touched whenever you press a certain button on the controller or something. So I press circle and it's going to tap the center of the screen or something. Like, sort of touch control shortcut thing. If they do that, then, uh, then the games will be pretty. Pretty playable, yeah. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, CBNK three D definitely <laughs> can be considered shovelware, but I think CBNK2 is pretty legit. about the unintended board strats uh, that are coming up. I'm pretty sure what you're supposed to do here is board on the like outer edge basically not the inner part of the leap so like off to the right here oh I didn't didn't do the thing properly because in the middle there's a bump or like in the inner part there's a little bump and if you you know get the bump you uh, you will sort of like land it you will be airborne for like a very split second or something and that's just going to um, what do you call it it's going to cause you to land again and if you land again it's uh, going to remove your board Something like that. Hello, friends. Okay. Oh.
Yeah, you can definitely get the IPA files if you want to try to install them. And sometimes there are also like IPA installer apps in the App Store if you can still get them. But your the version of your iOS is very important for the games to run properly. I bought a few iPhones a few years ago and then I got them all to run on them. I had an iPhone 3GS, I think. Got the games to run, but the, the frame rate was a little shitty. Um, which I then sold off on eBay. I got an iPhone 4. Although the listing on eBay said it was of an iPhone 4S, and it also had iPhone 4S packaging. But it was indeed an iPhone 4. Which made a difference, unfortunately. <laughs> for my purposes. So I got the games to run on that as well, but I couldn't use use it for like streaming or whatever. Uh, which I then gave to Alapu at ESA 2022 last year. And then I got an iPhone 4S, a real one, <laughs> which I continue to own, which I then streamed the game off of. And I managed to do all all the jailbreaking just using very old videos on YouTube. Turns out everything from back then still works. You just have to dig a little bit to find everything. But it's doable. Oh, fuck. Wow, what a prick. be a shell at some point in this fight, I think. And then and then the the Yoka wall also despawns. Oh boy. These fights are getting super long as well in, in these Yoka tree levels. Billion battlers are spawning. But I think this might be it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, I have to kill him. Oh, I don't. Yeah, so ditch the Shelly. Just carry on. I think the main reason I'm doing this now is because uh, someone in my chat the other day said that they could probably beat this game in like two hours uh, with one controller. And I said, ah, I'm not so sure about that. Certainly do take a bit more than two hours to, to do everything. 
And he says, yeah, but just casually, on easy. And I'm like, the easy is slow. Um, but that just kind of got me thinking, wait, how, how slow would this be, though? Since back then, we, we were still playing on easy. But hard is faster. We have mojo farming, so combat is not as annoying, I guess, to, to do. I don't think I can sub two. But maybe I can I can beat like the best one player time anyway, right? Get like a 205 or something, maybe. That's my guess. Since you know back then I also did we didn't use the, the Ukauka Uka strats. Uh, the Rejack, or any of like the, the, the Nina straps. In fact, Turbo Rilla wasn't even a thing. So guys, why do you use the heavy attack to move for movement? I don't think that's faster. I've seen, like I'm shit-talking Eggy so much, or Eggy strats, but I've seen Eggy do that now. Like, man, the build-up to even get anywhere is so slow. Why would you do that? I don't think it's faster to use the heavy attack. What up, Scorp? Like, I have no, like, ill will or anything. I'm just thinking, is it just me who thinks these things look very obviously slower? <laughs> Maybe I'm also just, just a bit strange. Maybe I'm just... Seeing them as slower than they actually actually really are. I don't know. What? <laughs> what? You fucking magnetically sort of pulled me in the rail so I was supposed to die there so I can respawn up here straight away but whatever man Turborilla punch is fine but that's not me who came up with that that was that was beta Turbozilla though oh my god yes <laughs> I never thought about that. Turbozilla, it's Turbozilla now. <laughs> Omni control is the good glitch in Mind of a Mutant. Death cam abuse. Who came up? I think it was Uber who said abuse. Nobody ever said death cam abuse before. People just said death cam or death cam glitch or death cam bug, but not abuse. But it's called Omni Control now. It's official. No, it's a glitch in. Oh wait, I need to hit that. Did I hit it? Yeah. It's a glitch in Mind of a Mutant that makes you move during cutscenes, and it's basically the backbone of the current group. Any percent. Since moving in cutscenes also makes it much easier to effectively fly through the game. Whenever I uh, go back to Mom, you will see what I mean. You'll see it. I will return to that game. some point. 
It's just m currently my my girlfriend is playing Banjo Kazooie, no Banjo Tooie now, on <laughs> on Xbox. So I connect hooked it up to my to a different TV. And I don't want to bother like plugging stuff in. And like back into the capture card or something. Although it's not very complicated to do. I'm surprised that you found it on PSP at all. Just the camera lock part. But the, but would you still move in cutscenes? I don't know if you if you noticed that at all. I don't know. There are different ways to trigger it, is the thing. So the way we do it now, that's a way you can't trigger it on PSP. I don't... It's so strange, like going back to like old videos and stuff, you seem to be able to trigger it by just dying and storing your titan very precisely. That just shouldn't be the thing. I don't know. For fuck's sake. Yeah, man. Fuck you, game. Special just decided to not hit. Yeah, dying, storing a titan. PSP is a bit strange with the entire thing, though, because you you sort of lose control like half a second or something before a cutscene really begins. I don't know how any of, any of that like really works, and if you can if you can still fly on PSP at all, you can't fly. Uh, like the conventional way, which is just timing your store like really well. That's like a two-frame window, but it doesn't work because it just takes away your control before the cutscene even begins. But maybe, just maybe, it's possible if you trigger Death Cam that you retain control, and then you could fly on PSP. But PSP is not a fun version to play at all. <laughs> Yo, what's that thing? Oh, that's the Hypno one. <laughs> Found another glitch on PSP. Infinite respawn underwater and die instantly. Oh, yeah, you can do that in many spots in Mom. <laughs> You can do that in so many spots. And sometimes if you die enough, you just get an infinite loading screen as well. Oh yeah, and that's a split. Эпизод 18. Ураганный бой.
Ближе я подобраться не могу. Придется пробиваться к центру робота и спасать твою сестру. Ягода! Ягода. Oh, I think I need this guy. Because of the gates. Yeah. What's up, friends? Friend. Please don't kill me. They will kill me. Oh, not if I kill them first. Okay. Oh, Chris, I bet you do monkey always thought it was the hila most hilarious thing planet Earth. Oh. oh, come on, dude. Nobody likes electrics. Can you? Okay. Just didn't care. Ugh. I shouldn't have done this. This is a long fight. Is this it? me guys slap me slap me real good <laughs> get out of here <laughs> do people even know what the, the slap me mean there was a streamer in, in, in 2012 or something I don't know <laughs> His mom was just, just sort of came into his room or something, and he was, you know, he was on 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 the mission to 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 have content, you know, content needed to be created. So he, I don't know, he urged her to like slap him or something, and then she actually did. And holy fuck, was that a slap? Ah, oh, that was so funny back in 2013. Эпизод 
19. Сыпкая гармония. Sorry, man, but twins is way funnier than this game. It is. It's more than just funny noise. Uh, Crash does funny noise. It sounds like a kid who can't speak. Can this shit stop being so garbage? Ugh. Okay. I never want to do it like that, but... It appears I have to. Oh, I couldn't see this because brightness was a little fucked up. Oops, that was me. My bad. That's how you're supposed to do it. If your entire Norris roundhouse doesn't hit him, but he starts to block and go under you, you just have to block immediately. But one Norris roundhouse plus a board slam will jack uh, or will stun him. If you don't have access to board slam because you don't get upgrades, then just. Continue chaining Nora's roundhouse and houses into him. It's going to be better. The sludge is really easy to trick out. Juke your way around his attacks. Jack him very easily. If you have two human players, then well, you can just wail on him like crazy without remorse. Oh yeah, time for my favorite strat in this entire game. survived that? How? <laughs> what? Твой брат спешит сюда, но он все равно не успеет. Мой гроботроник готов. Ты это мне говоришь? Это я его сделала. Наконец, остров Вумпа будет стерт пыль. Только не Вумпа, там наш дом. Bro, my names make sense. They're good. They're the best. Also, I already catered towards your shitty epic category name. Uh, uh, yeah, wishes, I guess. I called it Mojo Trial. I didn't call it All Mojo Rooms, which, you know, makes sense. Bring back Vortex Percent. They should have called that all vortexes in my mind, but they just called it vortex. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, sure, let people have their meme names, but 
That's not something I want to moderate. <laughs> Maybe I have a bit of a Nazi mod here. Um, with, the, with the category names, but I don't care. I want them to, to make sense. And we have some arbitrariness sometimes anyway. Not a, not very fond of it, but what, what else can I do, honestly? Like... Infusion, we call it 104%, even though it's not 104%, it's 104% plus 120 cards. That would be the correct category. But people said it's too long for some reason. And really, who the fuck cares? It should reflect what it is. Because you can get 104% without 120 cards, but you're still required to you're still required to get 120 cards. Oh wait, no! Wait, what ha does it does a scorp respawn if you don't destroy this? Surely, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, there was one. Mojo trial is fine. And something like bar, you know, the thing is, I don't want it to be all spy bots, concept arts, and mojo rooms. But bots, arts, rooms works fine, bar. And plus, it's supposed to be a meme anyway, isn't it? So, come on, guys. It's fine. as possible though. Oh yeah! Well, 157 now. It's possible. Is fusion a good game? Um, most people will say no. I mean, the very most people will say Crash. The Crash franchise only has three good games or something. Um, I think it's fun. It's a fun, like guilty pleasure esque little, you know, Game Boy game to play. It's nice. It's not. It's not like peak gaming or anything. Not even close. Ah, oh, that probably didn't work because it never really works. So I'll hit the scorp anyway. me a little. Oh, it's not sub-20. <laughs> uh, sub-2, I mean. But extremely close. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, you can get sub 2. I didn't... I was genuinely not expecting sub 2 here. Like sub 210, easy peasy. Again, this is this is on OPL HDD, so I'm cheating and win, like gaining a minute or something. Although, had I not used my memory card, <laughs> this would have been sub two, because I because I always had an auto save, and that always takes like three seconds or something each each episode. So I could have very comfortably gotten sub 2, now that I think about it. I'm gonna save my splits, not as 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 Это твоя самая злодейская выходка на свете. Это было ужасно. Нина, я так тобой горжусь. Ура! Обещаю, что я стану еще злее, еще коварнее, еще кошмарнее, кошмарнее. Да, и, конечно, убью бандикотов, а еще отшлепаю тебя. Now the Russian voice acting is based. I like it. Наконец. Проверим ущерб. Может, мы все потеряли? Всем привет! Что здесь произошло? Обниматься будем? Фу, от тебя не сержариным. Наш дом на месте. Oh yeah, time for Crash Bandicoot's most iconic line. О, остров Вумпа. Хоть вещи в порядке? Пора домой к пирожкам. <laughs> okay. That's neat. So to sum up, um It's like four seconds, I think. Three, four seconds. Um, anyway, to sum up. Uh, yeah, you can beat this game in under two hours. I didn't think that. Without autosaving uh, enabled, so no memory card inserted. This would definitely have been like 158 or something, maybe. Definitely sub two, of course, because I'm just barely over it. Um, yeah, but let's not turn this into a habit. I'm not going to do this regularly. What I may do regularly is Mojo Trial whenever I've completed like a run or something. Um, in any case, do look forward to my other runs and my other things that I do.